You impressed us, Explorer number 61. You made it. All went according to the plan. What? What's that voice? 
So, what is it like being a hero, a savior, a, a chosen one, master. or the destroyer? It was you who invoked the event, didn't you? Who are you? What is this place? Was it your plan? No, you did not. Are you upset? You could never be the one, because there is no you. You are a mere echo of many people, an illusion, a composite image. Your dear Katya never existed, too. What are you saying? I am real. Please don't listen to it. She is your personal motivator that led you to the center, the castle, me. Congratulations. You made it here. Iteration successful. I am satisfied. Should I reward you? Take this gun and make your choice. Kill her and you will be free to live an ordinary life outside the radius. No. Please. I'm... I'm so sorry I brought you here. I didn't know any of this until now. Kill me, and I will give her human form. She will live. All her memories will come true. But you will vanish. Choose your reward, explorer number 61. I... I don't think we can trust it. About letting you go. But please... I'd rather die than stay trapped in here forever. If neither of us is real anyway... We can't die for real. Don't be afraid to shoot. You can stop it all right now. What will it be, Explorer number 61? Do you want a name, a home, a future? Or are you going to play the hero and the sacrifice? You must understand that you can't harm the Radius. The work in progress here will continue. All the necessary data has been recorded. Are you all right? What? What's happening to me? After he made his choice, something happened to me. I felt myself separating from the being I'd only just realized I was a part of. It said to me, although, no, it didn't speak, we were still connected. It let me know through impulses sent directly into my neural networks. An act of self-sacrifice has just been performed, and you are to be its beneficiary. Then I was overcome with vertigo and blacked out. When I came to, I was standing in a field. It was speckled with wildflowers that were brighter than anything I'd ever seen before. Blades of grass tickled my ankles as a warm summer breeze blew through the field. A girl of eight or nine grabbed my hand. Katya, come on. Mama and Papa are waiting. Go, go, I'll be there in a moment, I said squeezing her hand before releasing it. She threw me an over-serious look. That look children sometimes get when they're trying to prove they're really <laughs> already adults. Then she shrugged and ran off. I spread out on the grass, face turned up to the sky. A single airplane traced a contrail across the boundless blue. Explorer number 61, wherever you are, even if you are only in my mind now, thank you. Thank you.